Yes, this is a story of a man who was told and advised by the community to keep a cat, a cock or rooster, and a vegetable garden. Yes, a long, long, long time ago, a lawyer man married a wife from the far lands and there was song and dance and they promised each other that till death do us part. Yes, song and dance, gifts, traditional gifts, brooms, flower mats, cords, all that the lawyers use in their houses and soft dance cooking sticks baskets brooms Yes, gifts. The bride and the bridegroom. And it was joy. As the women danced. And the bridegroom and the groom joined. To receive the gifts and to dance. From far off lands. There it is, joy, till death do us part, lifetime partners. There. And the joy continued. And films, photos, videos, Recording occasion. Yes, and that was. And like two love birds, the couple lived together and enjoyed each other's company. But they never had a child. Like love birds, they lived together. stayed together, helped each other, carrying each other, kissing each other, singing to each other, indeed like love birds, stayed together, enjoyed the moments, yes, that is love, that is love. When the female bird spreads out its wings for the male bird to enjoy the ride and kissing each other. And there it is, having joy together. And of course, not without some kick. That is the love that the married people enjoyed but alas indeed as their voice had said death did them part yes rest in peace my dear wife that was the husband saying 
because the lady died and of course before she even begot a child. So he vowed never to remarry and stayed alone in his heart. Yes, the homestead typical Luya homestead, grass-thatched houses, granaries. In a homestead like this, there are normally wives, first wives, second wives, granaries, and those were cool, cool houses because of the thatch, the grass. And indeed, the man lived alone, never to remarry. And now, as it characteristic of the Luya, at beer parties where elders discuss issues and provide informed education, a scheme to get the old man a new wife was hatched. Yes, as they drink they are busa as they discuss the community matters. That is what the Bukusu in the Luya land do. They don't go to drink to get drunk. That is a socialization area, advising each other, mentoring the young ones, coaching the young ones, practicing succession management drinking their clean beer made out of maize very clean very clear sharing socializing those are drinking straws eating together talking together call it african socialism if you want yes the mulembe people the Luya people stick together, drink together, work together, advise each other. Indeed, that's what they call the Mulembe, peace. Mulembe meaning peace. And you see, they have come here to socialize, advise each other, understand the community problems, hatch out plans and projects to solve those problems. That is how the Luya go to drink. They drink and go home peaceful, having gathered information and news. So here, they hatched a plan to give the old man a new wife because they care. Ceremonies were made to appetize the old man for a new wife. Yes, the men thought their colleague cannot remain alone. And they danced, and they brought wives. Look, escorting, taking to the old man who has vowed never to remarry. And there they are. We care. We are a Mlembe nation. We don't want one of our own to go lonely, we must facilitate. We come with the dance, we come with joy. We have to appetize the old man so that he can feel one of us. And there they are ceremonies to appetize the old man for a new wife because they want the old man to be among them so they came with dance and song the luya the loving and minding people 
But the old man refused completely to remarry and cited a number of proverbs also from far and near. Like the French proverb, better alone than in bad company, said the man. Try to be in good company even when you are alone. That's a Hungarian proverb. And the man was telling them. In a choice between bad company and loneliness, the second preferable, that's a Spanish proverb. So the man stuck to his guns and never wanted to remarry. He loved his departed partner. So the elders feared that since he was staying alone and was aging, should he die at night, the omnivorous rats would, his, would eat his body before he's discovered for burial. He has refused to remarry. They fear to him, he stays alone. So, the elders advised him that in the absence of a companion, he should keep a cat, a rooster, and a garden of vegetables. Yes, a cat, a cock, rooster, and a garden of vegetables. A cat in the house would chase away the rats and keep the body intact in case he died. Of course, some rats can indeed even terrorize the cat. But of course, the advice was be with a cat in your house since you are alone. When God finally calls you, as you did happen at night, when you would have locked your door, by daybreak we shall not know. And the rats might feast on you. So the cat, as I said, some rats can be fierce. They can even chase the cats away. But that probably is not an African cat. Now, a garden of vegetables would attract people to come and fetch some and then notice that the man was not up. Because a garden of vegetables in front of your house you cannot eat all the vegetables alone. Neighbors would come to ask for some vegetables. And when they came and found that the door is already still locked, then they would be in a position, therefore, you to discover you. Here is Sukuma. All this is Sukuma. As you can see. A garden outside the house. Yes. Yes, you can see. a kitchen garden can be in sacks. It doesn't have to be right on the ground. You take a 90 so you can round your house sack. with sacks of sukuma. And you put in soil, and as you put in the soil, you mix it with manure. I prefer organic manure and then you put in this pipe, this pipe in the middle and in the pipe Yes, this is a homestead, you, have you can hear the birds, the poultry, in the pipe. And then this is a garden you make made out of you make sacks. Yes, we can use sacks. That is soil mixed with manure, organic manure. We are putting them in 
those sacks. Yes. Can add in some organic, organic manure. Yes, we're using sacks to grow vegetables. That soil has been mixed with manure and being put in those sacks. And notice that the sacks have holes on the sides. We're preparing the soil in the sack. Look at those holes. We water, water the soil, then plant the sukuma in the holes outside the, I mean, on the sacks. Water them. You can harvest, you can enjoy. Be it spinach, be it onions, be it sukuma. Yes. So when people come to, uh, to look for these vegetables and they notice that the house is still locked, they will therefore be alerted that not all is well. That is why they were advised, the old man was advised to have this garden, a garden outside his house. So, a rooster, a rooster in the house would attract people with it growing from the locked house. That is, should the old man die at night in the house and the rooster is with him in the house, the cat is also in the house. While the cat is chasing away rats, the rooster which keeps time will be growing in the morning and the the door is locked and therefore it will warn people will be attracted to know that the man should have been up yes we are told roosters normally grow to guard their territory to tell others far away that this is our territory they also do so to guard the hens, because they are in charge. Normally, a rooster would take care of eight to ten hens in terms of mating. If you have more than ten hens, you are advised to have two roosters. In short, a rooster for eight chicken would be good and therefore fertilization and reproduction will be fine. So as the rooster, the cock will be growing inside the locked house. People will be noticing not all is well and therefore they will be alerted to take the appropriate action. So that's the beauty of having a cock as advised by the elders in the community to the man who had refused to remarry. They grow in different styles, long, short, a long one that's a fairly long one and indeed that was the advice of the community that you are alone have a rooster in the house have a cat in the house and have a garden of vegetables outside and so that was timely warning advice because they care, the Luya care, the people of Malembe, the people of peace. So now what lessons can we learn here? There are many lessons. I have picked just four. That we should understand we are good enough all by ourselves. The old man, 
believed he was good enough all by himself. Two, we should value others' opinions but value our own more. Yes, pick opinions, but if you have an opinion, value yours too, probably even more. Number three, we should make plans for the future and pursue them in earnest. So, the old man was asked to make plans for his future and to keep it. And finally, we should appreciate that being alone should not mean we are lonely. So indeed, you can be alone, but be very active, very productive.